Good morning. Today, one day after release day, we hate Julia. And even though she's in my top 10 favorite characters, I hate, I hated facing her since Tag 1. She's the one character that doesn't give you the time to realize that she's punishable because her moves are so quick. The blocks and animations are really short on her. She does have a lot of moves that are negative 14 though, so it's really surprising. She sways back a lot, so try a death fist or a long range attack. If you block the low, launch punish. If she somehow misses a low, but you block the mid, is negative 16. This does push you back pretty well. A lot of negative 14s. The second low is actually safe, but you have 17 frames to put an attack in between the two kicks. I used to think the punch made it safe, but not only are the kicks negative 13 on block, you still have 13 frames to fit in an attack before the punch. Sometimes the stop hits late, and it ends up being negative 11 instead. But you probably don't have to remember that because nobody uses this move. Careful, this move does have an extension, but it's negative 16 if you guess right on either. We've all seen this low mid before. She sways back a lot for this too, so same thing again, you either do a death fist or do a long range attack. 
Her tennis strings were nerfed. They both have two lows, but the lows do not combo into anything, which is quite the blessing. You'll notice that the 10 hit strings both start off with the same 5 buttons. If you could recognize the startup, you could try to low parry the first low. If you're in Colorado, there's a Colorado Tekken group on Facebook. There's always a tournament every month at the Aki Arcade. Also, everyone's joining up for EVO with the same zip code so you don't have to face each other early. A link to the group will be in the description. The next video up is going to be a Marduk Changes video. And I've been working on that on and off for like the past month. Ugh, I'm ready to be done with it.